You know, people ask me all the time, do you ever get tired of fishing? I charter almost every day, but no, I don't get tired of fishing because tomorrow, instead of being the guide, I get guided. We're in Hopedale, Louisiana at the Dogwood Lodge, owned by Southern Wake Charters. This boat was originally built as a U.S. Coast Guard buoy tender in 1940. This is where it all started. In 1989, it was decommissioned and turned into a Mississippi River cruise ship up around Missouri. Now, it's the finest lodge in St. Bernard Parish down here. If you want to have a first class adventure and a place to get away, this is the place to do it. Being the captain of uh, a living piece of history like this, you know, it's pretty special. You know, not everybody gets to be part of something like this. Well, Dogwood was built in 1940 in Dubuque, Iowa. It was commissioned by the U.S. Coast Guard. It was a Coast Guard buoy tender. It tended the buoys on the Mississippi River and its tributaries. In 1989, it was decommissioned and went into private service as a work vessel along the Mississippi River and the intercoastal waterway. In 1996, a company that already owned riverboats took this and made a more intimate riverboat experience out of it. What makes it great as a fishing lodge is the fact that, you know, it's a living piece of history, so you get to experience and be part of our history here in the United States. Well, the Dogwood is powered by two Cummins NTA 855 marine diesels. The boat's a tunnel drive, so it can operate in shallow water as little as five feet. It also has a bow thruster, which makes it highly maneuverable. The Dogwood's an operational vessel. It's still fully functional. Our water systems, everything's functional. We actually depart here in late spring and go to Biloxi and spend the summer, and then return back in the fall for duck and fishing season. The Dogwood can accommodate up to 12 people in six guest bedrooms. All have private baths and individual air conditioning. The equipment on board the Dogwood, a lot of it's original and dates back to when it used to push up and down the Mississippi River, tending buoys, keeping the river safe, all the other vessels. Well, people come from all over the place, you know, not only here in the U.S., but we've had quite a few foreign visitors. Louisiana truly is a sportsman's paradise. You know, when you come stay here on the Dogwood, it puts you right in the middle of where you want to be. You're just minutes from world-class fishing and duck hunting. Living in South Mississippi and Louisiana is just spectacular. I've been all over the place, and I'm proud to call the South my home. The, the abundance of species that you have to fish for here is just amazing. Not, not only that, the waterfowl is excellent. Part of the great experience of staying right here on the water is that your food can't get any fresher. You know, it goes straight from the boat to the table. And it just, it really makes for the best food in the world. All right, y'all, we had a great night at the Dogwood Lodge last night. I gotta tell you, the hospitality there is incredible. Captain Smiley, He's the manager of the lodge. That boy can cook. We had a great meal. Last year, we came down here with Jeff Arnold, Arnold's guide service. Tried to get my first redfish on the fly. It didn't happen. We're back at it again today, and I'm out for revenge. Y'all stick around, because this is going to be a lot of fun. The Fisherman's Guide is brought to you by Silver Slipper Casino, Dad Super Pawn, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, and Penn, Oddball Tackle, Salt Life Optics, Southern Building Supply, Sea Mule Fishing Carts, Catcher's Mitt, Sea to Swamp, Island Marina, Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine, Ocean Marine Group, Parker Poles, Sport Trail Trailers and Advanced Marine.
Come on down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, where the casino action is always lively and fun. Now, you already know that we're passionate about our food. And I'm sure you'll be able to find your favorite table game in the newest slot games available whenever you visit us. So now we're happy to introduce our beautiful new beachside hotel with 129 spacious rooms and suites. So for great fun, food, and awesome views, come on down to the Silver Slipper. Have a good time at the Silver Slipper. Everyone knows that fishing is fun, but catching is even better at Island Marina. Island Marina is home to some of the best inshore fishing anywhere. Island Marina is the first class, full service marina and boat yard. Come on over and you see why everyone knows that fishing is fun, but catching is even better at Island Marina. Just like money in your pocket. Building a new home? Build it with brick and roofing from Southern Building Supply. Come see our showroom on County Farm Road in Gulfport. We have a wide range of brick in the most popular styles and colors, and our selection of high-quality shingles can add years to the life of your new roof. Southern Building Supply offers on-site delivery of your new brick and rooftop delivery of your new shingles. We're the only locally owned roofing and brick company. Call us today, 228-539-8380. Southern Building Supply. So Jeff, right now, you know, it's still a little early. We don't have a whole lot of light. Um, do you, are we gonna take a shot if we see a waking fish or are we, st are we specifically trying to sight them right now? You know, if we get the opportunity of a fish that's up high and happy and waking, yeah, just go ahead and lead the fish and throw to the wake. Is, you're still sight fishing when you're doing it that way. Um, otherwise, you know, we're just gonna stay close to the bank and move slow. It's a nice calm morning even though we don't have the best light. Um, but we should be able to see the fish, you know, on this bottom um, out to some distance. And we'll just take it as we can and just creep along nice and slow because there's been a lot of fish in this area. So I'm confident we've got targets around. You know, even in this low light, you're, you're looking into this water and, and your instinct is to pull your glasses off because we don't have a whole lot of light. But even in low light, quality polarized glasses, you know, like these, these Salt Life optics, they'll still help you see better down into the water with low light. And Ronnie, you know, be real aware that 12 o'clock spot is my blind zone just because you're standing there. So it's real easy for me to push right up on a fish that I never see at, at dead at 12 o'clock. So really focus from as close as one foot to, you know, 10, 20 foot ahead of the, of the boat. And if you see him, don't wait for me to give you the okay. Just go ahead and flip a cast out to him and go for it. Jeff, you know, you made that sound real easy for a rookie like me. I'll do my best, boss. I realize that we're not covered up with fish quite yet this morning, but we've sure got the perfect depth, perfect bottom, perfect water clarity. All we gotta do is add a few fish and we got it made. Let's trip a little faster, the boat's moving. You know, I'm on the water every day. I spend, I'm well, well over 200 days a year on the water, and that's where I want to be. Oh, there's two of them. I didn't quite get in front of When I'm not on the water, I'm wishing that I was on the water. Oh, that is so exciting. Man, that's awesome. All right, first targets. They didn't spook. No, they didn't spook. Ronnie, you know, and on a lot of these fish, like the, that first two that we saw, that, you know, they're not moving fast. Those fish were moving, but they weren't really heading in any one direction, just kind of milling around. You don't want to, it's hard to lead those fish by any real degree, because you don't know which way he's going to turn. So, you know, that fish, I very seldom do I want to lead him much more than two foot. If not, just put drop it right on his nose. And that's the beauty of the fly, 
is, you know, it's lighter than a jig if you're spin fishing or throwing a thumb burner. Um, you know, it, it hits the water pretty light in front of them, so you can get by throwing stuff closer to the fish and not blowing them because of it. You know, Jeff, that makes a lot of sense with these flies because they set down on the water so easy. You know, as a conventional guy, we're throwing a probably a, up to a quarter ounce jig head that's underneath a big old popping cork. You gotta kind of lead them, or if you lead them too far, at least you've got that cork to get their attention. But you get right on top of them, you're gonna spook them every time. Brought to you by Dad Super Pond. Hey y'all, time for another pro tip from the Fisherman's Guide. Brought to you by Dad Super Pond. The folks over here at Silver Slipper Casino gave us some nice big jumbo shrimp to show you what we do with them. Live bait, live shrimp specifically, there's two different ways that we like to hook them. Captain Clay Nikes of Outcast Charters is gonna tell you a little bit about that. Captain Ronnie, the two places that we like to do is, is in the first ring of the tail, or you can go underneath the horn right in front of the brain. You'll see a black spot. Just go right in front of it, and you should be good to go. You know, a lot of times I like to let the bait dictate where I hook them, because you'll have soft tail shrimp. If you've got those, they're not going to stay on real good hook through the head. At that point, I'm going to move it back to the tail and hook them to where we've got some meat to hang on to the hook. One other tip since this is a two for one for you, are the frozen water bottles we got here. What's that for? Well, Captain Ronnie, during your summer months when you bait, you're trying to keep your bait well temperature down and you're in muddy water or something of that nature and you don't want to research. You just take a water bottle and freeze it the night before and you can put it in there and keep your water temperature down to where it needs to be during the summer months. Yep, if you're not running fresh water in, clean new water in, you shut it down, put these in there. Y'all stick around, we'll be right back. I'm Shaw Grigsby and this is my office a sensational light tackle series saltwater boat from Triton. Whether you're sneaking up on monster reds in skinny water, fishing the tournament in a coastal bay or river, or headed for light offshore action for the trophy of your dreams, no other boat fishes, performs, and fuels your angling passion like a genuine Triton LTS. See them today at a nearby Triton dealer and at tritonboats.com. For over 80 years, serious anglers have depended on Penn. You can too. When you get that bite of a lifetime, be confident knowing that Penn is with you. Penn, let the battle begin. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. When you trade with us, you always get a best. Super deals are why, whether you sell or buy. We cash checks, we pay bills, we make loans like no one will. And help you keep your pockets filled. Just like money in your pocket, that's super fun. Hi, this is John from The Silver Slipper, where the casino action is always lively and fun. Now, you already know that we're passionate about our food, and I'm sure you'll be able to find your favorite table game in the newest slot games available whenever you visit us. So now we're happy to introduce our beautiful new beachside hotel with 129 spacious rooms and suites. So for great fun, food, and awesome views, come on down to The Silver Slipper. Pass a good time at the Silver Slipper. Well, this is as pretty water as we're going to find, Ronnie. You know, we don't have the best conditions, but man, it is slicked out here. I've got, honestly, as, as good a visibility as I could even ask for. Um, you know, if we don't see something kind of shortly, we'll probably make a little move just because I, I can see around us. Ooh, check out 12 o'clock, 200 feet. That's a red moving away from us. He ain't speak from us, but sign alive. I've been, you know, crazy for fishing since I was a kid. I grew up in rural Missouri um, and uh, just a farm boy my entire life. What is this right here? Right here, right here, right Go here. Go ahead, throw right on the muds. Some of my earliest memories are with rod and reel in hand. As a matter of fact, mom, she still pulls pictures out here and there. 
of me as a kid fishing. I, they may still be in their cast just further across the mud. I've always been ate up with it. Good. Spent a little bit of time in the real world. Okay, there they go. Little. Oh, no. That's all right. There's, it's a school of them. Just keep stripping. One just shot out from underneath the front of the boat. Only to find out that's not what I wanted to do and really, really immerse myself in fishing. Okay, they're turning back now. Cast it right back here. See them swelling around? Even further left, I think. Uh, they, unless you're on fish, I think they're right here. To the left? Just right where you're pointing, cast long. They're all around us in a way. I, I would just, I, I'd make a few more blind casts out there. Did not spook. I don't know where he's at. Good. Right here under the front of the boat. We just blew two out right here. Now they're not just finding that fly. Yeah, just keep casting. It's just, just a lot of fish in here. When I truly said that that's what I was going to do, that was when I took off for Belize. Was it, was it a bump? Go, go ahead, get back out there. Because he ain't by himself. And that's probably what technically started my guiding career. I heard a little something about you going to Central America. What'd you do? You flew down there and worked for a uh, lodge down there or something? Had something lined up? Well, not exactly. You know, do kind of, you know, just a pop and then let it stop. Pop, almost like just a popper. I had a, I had a friend that I'd gone to college with that had gone down there for the Peace Corps years ago. And uh, this was the start of my guiding career. And I got burnt out on working normal jobs and he had gone, he had ended up back in Belize. Permanent resident as a school teacher. He, he liked it so much. And uh, like I said, I got tired of working real jobs. And I can feel the difference whenever I get that rod tip right there on the water. Uh, kind of took my last paycheck where I was at and loaded my old Chevrolet Caprice and <laughs> drove to Belize. Ended up spending about a year and a half down there uh, working on out on the Gulf. Yeah. And when we're sight fishing to the fish, that's absolutely the wrong strip. Got a sign. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Looking, looking to the right, 30 foot. I think that's him. Can you see him? <laughs> yeah, looks like he's heading at us. Working for a lodge there to some degree. That's pretty much where my guide career started, honestly. <laughs> yes, I, I can't say for sure. I mean, that one, he rolled on his side. Yeah, right well, him. two of them must have done it because right where I cast it, I saw one as well. I saw a okay. gold side. So you packed up your car in Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> and said, see y'all later. Pretty much. I, yeah. I'm going to take a road trip to Central America. <laughs> Put it right on his nose. Try to spook him into eating it. Yep. Pop the clutch and tell the world to eat my dust. <laughs> it's all right. I'm sorry. But, no, no. I, he, he didn't want to eat it that first time. Just had no reaction to it. Down to the Silver Slipper. Hi, this is John from the Silver Slipper, where the casino action is always lively and fun. Now, you already know that we're passionate about our food, and I'm sure you'll be able to find your favorite table game in the newest slot games available whenever you visit us. So now we're happy to introduce our beautiful new beachside hotel with 129 spacious rooms and suites. So for great fun, food, and awesome views, come on down to the Silver Slipper. Have a good time at the Silver Slipper. Building a new home? Build it with brick and roofing from Southern Building Supply. Come see our showroom on County Farm Road in Gulfport. We have a wide range of brick in the most popular styles and colors, and our selection of high-quality shingles can add years to the life of your new roof. Southern Building Supply offers on-site delivery of your new brick and rooftop delivery of your new shingles. We're the only locally owned roofing and brick company. Call us today, 228-539-8380. Southern Building Supply. 
You all stick around and we'll be right back with a bunch more red hot redfish action. Today's recipe is brought to you by Sea Mule Fishing Carts. Hey guys, Chef Corey Hudson here with Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine. Today we are doing a roasted poblano buffalo shrimp po' boy. Now the ingredients for the roasted poblano buffalo shrimp are two poblano chilies, a quarter bottle of Louisiana hot sauce, two tablespoons of white vinegar, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, one stick of unsalted butter, one cup of heavy cream, two tablespoons of cornstarch, 10 31-35 size shrimp peeled and deveined, two cups of seasoned corn flour, two eggs, one cup of milk, and a 10 inch loaf of French bread. First things first, we have to roast our peppers because that's what's gonna take the longest. We're just gonna put them on a char grill and we need to quarter them and flip them every three or four minutes because they take about 15 minutes total. All that char flavor is gonna be absorbed inside of the pepper. Now while they are doing that, on the grill, we can make our buffalo sauce. You need about a small saucepan. Pour in your butter, your Worcestershire sauce, your vinegar, and your Tabasco sauce, and let it heat up till it starts to bubble around the edges. You don't want it to totally boil. And once that happens, we can add in our one cup of heavy cream. When it comes to a boil, thicken it with a cornstarch slurry. Basically, you just take a regular cup, put about a quarter cup of cornstarch in it and then fill the rest up with warm water. Any sauce that you're cooking starts to boil, you just pour that in and it thickens it immediately. By now our peppers are roasted under running water or even in a water bath in a bowl. Peel off the skin and open them up, take all the seeds out. You're going to put these peppers in the food processor along with the buffalo sauce that you just made. We're going to blend that all together. But to fry the shrimp, I prefer corn flour. Put the shrimp in an egg wash, dust them in the corn flour, and throw them in the grease. They only take about 90 seconds. And once they're crispy fried, put them in a stainless bowl, two ounces of our buffalo sauce, toss it. Now it's time to make a po' boy. You need a good, nice French bread. Just toast it with a little butter on it, and then put it on your bread. Lettuce, tomato, blue cheese. Doesn't get any better than that. When you do it on a fly that you tied, on a rod that you built, first get your hook in your vise. It just feels like you've truly fooled that fish more than, than you ever could have. Sort and it's a thread wrap, base for your eyes. It just makes for, you know, super quality outings for myself. Bring in your eyes. My road trip to Belize. Leave plenty of room away from your hook eye. Get to have a super glue for we get a little bit of long-term use out of it. A bit of tail material. Dubbing brush for the body. Make sure your profile's nice and even. From there, wound up in Montana guiding for trout. A little piece of bunny. From there, down in the Florida Keys. From the Florida Keys, I ended up in Alaska. In Alaska, I ended up guiding for steelhead in Idaho some little bit. Also from Alaska, ended up down here. Enjoy doing it for a living. In layman's terms, the, the bigger the number, the bigger the fish. Then whip finished, finish the fly. Just hold it together. And there you go. Okay, 12 o'clock, ah, he's moving fast. You know, the catch and release part of fly fishing, fly fishermen by and large keep very few fish. They definitely want to let that species prosper. Get ready, I think we got more. I mean, they're just they're just stacked in here. There we go. Got him, got him, got him. All right, make sure the line's nice and clear. Go ahead and let him just put himself on the reel. Trap it underneath your right finger on your right hand. So strip, strip, strip. Strip. Strip, 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 strip. <sighs> strip from behind your left hand. Never let go of it. Okay, get back on the bow. All right, you're standing inside the line. Good. They have no qualms with letting the fish go. And, yeah, you're the drag, so let him, you know. The hope says he's going to run and put himself on the reel. You know, if you can, if you've got him somewhat stopped, you know, just take a couple of turns on the reel, you know, to, to 
And it's easier if you just like smack the bottom of the rim. It's a little more advanced technique, but there you go. All right, I got him on the reel. All right, now, now that's a single action. So when he goes to run, let go of the handle. Just because you're a good fisherman doesn't mean you're going to be a, a great guy. <laughs> Good job. To be a good guy, you have to enjoy seeing other people catch fish. I'm gonna stake us out here, Ronnie, so just be aware if he goes on a suicide run behind the boat, I got my pole down. All right. But I don't think he will. Off as long as I'm here. on the water, around people catching fish, I'm perfectly happy with it. As the guide, you've gone to great lengths. And then when you reel him up, just don't reel in the, the line and leader connection. Leave that out. So when you've just made all the, the right decisions and you put the people into the fish and they're catching the fish, more I mean, get your colored party, you, you win. The right there, that's good. All right. <laughs> that was a long time coming. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Well, that was a heck of a workout. You did it. I'm going to tell you, it's been a long time since I worked that hard at anything. Right. Folks, day two of fly fishing, it took us two years to get it done. <laughs> Last year, we had the absolute worst conditions that you could imagine. This year, just a step above that. No light today. We've had fish everywhere. Jeff had us on fish since we got here. We put the fly in front of them. They wouldn't eat. We saw a few, couldn't get to them. Finally got out here on this point. Step up here, Jim. Yeah. Finally got up here on this point. And that's the end result. I gotta tell y'all. First this red fish on fly. Is about as much fun as it gets once you connect, and it makes it all that much better right. putting in the work to get there. Absolutely. He's not Moby Dick, but he's your first red fish hey. on fly. You'll never get that back. That I'm more proud of that red fish than any other one I've ever caught in my life. Exactly. Thank you so much. No problem. This Thanks has for coming. Been a lot of fun. Let's get him back in the water. Oh. The Fisherman's Guide is brought to you by Silver Slipper Casino, Dad Super Pawn, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, and Penn, Oddball Tackle. Salt Life Optics, Southern Building Supply, Sea Mule Fishing Carts, Catcher's Mitt, Sea to Swamp, Island Marina, Hook Gulf Coast Cuisine, Ocean Marine Group, Parker Poles, Sport Trail Trailers, and Advanced Marine. Yeah,